Welcome back to another Thrift With Me. I know it's been a while. Um, I've just been so busy, but thanks for joining me. I recently, I've, I've been to thrift stores probably every weekend. I just haven't been filming all of them, but I did pull my camera out for this one. So if you're new here, uh, please uh, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you um, as a, a subscriber on my channel. And for those of you who have come back, I always appreciate you. Thank you so much. I absolutely love this particular picture. It's a print. Uh, the frame is beautiful and the colors just gorgeous. This grandfather clock reminds me so much of my grandparents' house. It just will not move. Every time I go in the thrift store, it's still there. I think it's $1.99. Um, but it's just so gorgeous. Remember when people used to have these big grandfather clocks in their in their homes? Beautiful. I wonder if it works. I love teapots. You guys know I love teapots. This one is $5. I love the shape of it. This is so cute. Just adorable. If I had a little girl, I would put that in her room. And it does actually play music. This is a vintage Japanese figurine. I was so curious about it. If you have any information about that big figurine, please like leave it in a comment below. This was another Japanese wooden box, trinket box or jewelry box. There was a lot of Japanese stuff in the thrift store today. I think someone gave away their collection. And this candle holder I love the colors in this candle holder. It's also Japanese. Look at the carving. You can tell it was like handmade. Beautiful. This was really interesting. It looks like it would be vintage and old, but I think it's just made to look old. This was really beautiful. I believe it was, this is like um, Danish or from Holland, Dutch, something like that. Beautiful wood carving. What an interesting figurine. It's so ugly, it's cute. This looks very mid-century. The clean lines on this jewelry box. Here's another bird, very pretty. If I had like a bird cage, I would like sit all of these little fake birds in them. And these are really, really gorgeous. They definitely look handmade. These are like little, um, I want to say sombrero hats, but they're, it's a string lights, but the, um, they're made to look like little wooden hats. I don't know. 
A lot of Japanese stuff today. I love the shape of this shot glass. I wish there was at least two. This was really beautiful and heavy. I'm not sure if it was like um, an ashtray or if you would actually put something like some nuts or something in it. That's a really pretty shaped mug as well. They had so many glass candle holders today. This was a really, really pretty decanter. I love the frosted handle on it. That is so gorgeous. These were really cute, a vintage set of salt and pepper shakers. $20, why do they have the mark so high? They get this stuff for free. I really, really love this napkin ring. I wish there was at least two. I mean, better would be four. This is a very interesting looking print. Very interesting, no face, naked man painting. But when I felt it, it was just plastic. So I'll leave that for someone else. Really nice painting. And this was actually, um, you know, a textured fabric that they framed. I thought that was really neat. $16.99. And another one to match. So today I thought that since I've already put away everything that I bought at the Goodwill, um, my haul is on the wall and sitting on the shelf. So you guys are just gonna kinda get a room tour while I show you what I was able to pick up. A lot of these things came from the last few weeks that I've been absent. So um, they weren't necessarily in the Thrift of Me video, but um, I want to share them with you anyway, and you're going to get a little bit of a, a room tour along with it. So this area here is my desk. I sit here every day because I work from home now because of COVID. Um, it's been such a blessing. If you've watched my previous thrift videos, you'll recognize some of those vintage frames. So this item I picked up from the Goodwill, this beautiful candle wall sconce, vintage um, it looks like it might be missing a piece. I'm not sure what that piece is, but you'll notice little divots in the two arms that stick out, like something belongs there, but I just thought it was beautiful. I wish there were two, but there was only one. So I've put my battery oper operated candle there. Um, and it sits next to my desk and it kind of gives this whole vintage vibe that I have going. Next is my TV area. I made my own frame for the TV um, in spray painted the bronze color. And this is my Chesser drawers. Um, my only one in the room, it's Ikea. Now I've picked up this wood uh, statue. Um, it looks like an African woman with a bowl on her head, basket on her head. Um, I don't think it's an actual African carving. I think that it's probably native to the Americas and someone uh, made it to represent an African woman. I only say that because of the maker's name on the bottom of it. I believe the name was like Melinda. 
Um, but I love the wood tones. I thought it was really gorgeous. And I believe it was um, $8. It might have been on sale. I can't remember now. So if we go across my, my dresser here, I also picked up this alabaster piece. Um, it's really heavy stone. I believe it's a candle holder. I'm not sure. I'm not using it for that. It's just kind of sitting there, but uh, it's really heavy and I love the marbling throughout. It's just really gorgeous. I love to look at it. Um, the tones in it are really, really beautiful. This is my built-in bookshelf. Um, there's quite a few thrifted items that I've shared with you guys before on here. The latest item that I picked up was this uh, vintage looking frame. I don't think it's actually vintage, but it's kind of a heavy metal material, nicely made. Um, I haven't actually put a picture in it yet, uh, but uh, I just thought it was really beautiful um, and great quality. So I'm hoping actually to hang that frame up somewhere. But for now, I'll just let it sit here um, and until I find a perfect place for it. So this is a thrifted mirror that I shared with you on another haul um, that I absolutely love. And this is a shelf that I keep in my room. Um, it has some hanging viney looking plants but also two items that I picked up recently. Um, this next item is a vintage Japanese, I believe, candle holder. Um, I believe the top part of it is to hold a tall, skinny candle. Not sure, but I just love the wood grain in it. It's so beautiful. And the carvings, it's just gorgeous. Um, and I picked it up, I believe, for $2.99. I don't have a candle that actually fits in inside of that candle holder portion of it because it's kind of skinny. But uh, I really just like it as more of a decor piece without the candle, so it's okay. The next item I picked up was this really fun looking peacock. It is definitely not a real peacock, but I just thought it was just such an interesting piece. Um, it actually probably needs a little bit of work because some of the feathers are kind of breaking off. So I need to probably go in with some crazy glue and kind of straighten it up a little bit. But I thought it was very interesting anyway. And I think it adds something fun to my bedroom wall shelf. And that's it for this particular wall. This area, up alongside my bed, I have a painting that I picked up. I love this painting. I actually picked this up from a vintage shop, um, one of those antique malls. It is a velvet painting. The artist, I think, is Chris Jensen. Um, please let me know if you're familiar at all with the artist, but it's just, it's so gorgeous to me. It is definitely a vintage 1970s velvet painting. It's perfect. I absolutely adore it. And I was just so excited to put it in my room. I first had it in my living room, but you know, I decided I deserve to have it in my bedroom. So I moved it. So on the other side of my bed is another painting that I was able to pick up. This one was actually from a thrift store. 
Um, the artist, I believe, is Lauren. The painting is just gorgeous. The vintage frame. I just think it's really beautiful and I love the, the colors. I'm not always that into landscape art, but something about the colors just really spoke to me, especially because I have like blue in my room coming from my um, area rug on the floor. So it seems to tie in with that. And I don't know, it's just kind of cheery. I really liked it. And the frame, the vintage frame um, was also really, really gorgeous. And I believe I paid $20 for that. And um, I didn't thrift this guy. I've had him for years, but uh, this is the blue carpet that I was referring to that kind of ties in with that. Um, there's my dog. <laughs> ties in uh, with that painting that I was referring to. And one last item was this vintage Japanese, I believe it's ceramic figurine. I think these are supposed to be nuns um, with that vintage nun hat. I forgot the name of that hat that nuns used to wear, but I'm not sure. I, I just was really, really curious about it. And I thought it was really interesting. So I picked it up, but um, I really have no place for it, and that's why it's sitting on my bathroom windowsill um, instead of being put in a proper place. And the last thing I picked up were these two wooden forks. Uh, they look hand-carved. They also look like they were Japanese as well. I'm not sure, but I thought they were really pretty. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use them. I'm still trying to get them clean. There's some gunk kind of stuck on them, but um, they look really, really pretty, um, you know, just in here with the rest of my utensils. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Take care.